it's John from CCI Solutions. I've been a worship leader for many years and still involved in worship today. And I was looking for tools that could help me do my job better, to lead worship better, to get the resources I need. And one of the things that was really been a cool thing that I've gotten to use is the, is the Apple iPad. And uh, I got a hold of that. It was uh, something that I needed to be able to store my music on it. I wanted to be able to do some audio recording with it. I wanted to be able to do some Bible study work with it, some presentation. All of those things were available to me when I got the Apple iPad. One of the problems that I had was the iPad wouldn't allow me, though, to connect easily to speakers or to video or, or bring microphone inputs into it. I needed those pro connections uh, that the iPad doesn't automatically have. So along comes the Alesis iDock, a new pro audio interface piece for the Apple iPad. I'm thinking, this is it. This is really what's going to help make this tool really work for me in combining the things I want to do on the iPad normally with the audio and video input and output tasks that I needed to do. So the new Alesis I.O. dock, it's a nicely designed piece that allows you to take either a standard iPad or an iPad 2, slide it right in, and it docks into the, into the I.O. dock. And what it gives you is it gives you all of these pro audio and video connections on the back. And we're going to talk a little bit more about what those are and how this is helpful. Right off the bat, one of the cool things that it gives you is two XLR microphone inputs. And not, they're not only just microphone inputs, but they're, they're what we call combo jacks. They're XLR and they're quarter inch uh, TRS inputs as well. That means I can plug microphones, I can plug line level sources, uh, keyboards, playback devices, I can uh, plug instruments, guitars, and things into there. And it comes, these come with a couple different level controls, so I can adjust the input levels. And this channel 2 over here, it allows me to switch between a guitar and an instrument level input. So I have a little bit of a pad on there to get just the right uh, input level set up on this, this input here. So those are the inputs. And one of the other cool things that it has is it has a, a phantom power switch, so I can either turn phantom power to power condenser microphones on or off. Another input that it has, let's look over on the side here, it's got a MIDI input and a MIDI output. So if I want to use a MIDI controller like a keyboard or something uh, to access MIDI sounds that are stored on my iPad, or a program that, that requires MIDI control, I can use that input for MIDI control. If I want to use my iPad to control something else, I can take the MIDI output and control another MIDI device from the iPad. So MIDI in and out, another cool thing. And then on here also there is a, um, a USB input output uh, port to allow me to hook up directly to a computer. And then on the outputs, let's take a look at some of those. First of all, there's a, there's a video output on the back. I wanted to talk about that. That's a really cool piece. And uh, when I do presentations and I want to go out and you know, show song, the song lyrics up on a, on a large screen or into a projector, I can actually take programs that, that show um, lyrics for songs and PowerPoint presentation kinds of devices and apps. Uh, I can show those out through this video output. This is just a standard RCA type standard definition output, but that's a really useful piece there as well. Uh, I also have two line level output, main output jacks here. These are quarter inch TRS and uh, left and right or, or channels one and two. On the side, I have a headphone out with a separate level control for the headphones and then I can control my main outputs with this control right here. So the Alesis I.O. dock has a full complement of inputs and outputs that makes my iPad now very accessible to be plugged in to Pro Gear, speakers, amplifiers, uh, DAWs, computers, MIDI keyboards, projectors, screens, all of those things now are, uh, the connectivity for that is available for my iPod in one convenient box.